Now at four, a winter storm knocked the power out for nearly 18,000 Utah residents, and it's not over yet. Plus, the family of a six-year-old girl hit and killed by a car is now speaking out what they want the community to know about her. And the state has been approved to expand Medicaid, impacting more than 90,000 Utahns. We're sitting down with the bill's sponsor to explain what this approval all means. Live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News at 4 starts now. Thanks everyone for joining us. I'm Sarah Chen. And I'm Glenn Mills. So glad to have you with us tonight. New at 4, the Centers for Medicaid, uh, Medicare and Medicaid Services, also known as CMS, has given the state the green light to expand Medicaid to about 70 to 90,000 Utah adults. Now that's all part of the Prop 3 modification plan that the state legislature passed this year. The newly eligible individuals can begin applying for coverage on Monday. Utah residents who earn up to 100% of the federal poverty level, that would be about 12,400 for an individual or 25,700 for a family of four, will be eligible to receive full Medicaid benefits. Representative Jim Dunnigan was the House sponsor of that bill. He joins us now with some more insight into what this means. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate you having bet. you here. Uh, pretty big day. Uh, because this has been a long time coming. We've been talking about Medicaid expansion for years in the state of Utah, and these are people who fell into that coverage gap. So kind of go back and give us an idea of who they are and what they've been dealing with over the years. Well, the folks in the coverage gap are adults, not children. Children are already eligible that make between zero and 100% of poverty, which is, as you say, is about 12,500 for an individual. That's too little to earn a subsidy on the federal marketplace and to get subsidized coverage, and they have not been eligible for Medicaid. So it's re I'm excited. This is an exciting time. Uh, I'm, I'm very pumped about it. Uh, you and others were very confident from what you had heard from CMS that you would get this waiver, uh, but a lot of advocates thought it would never come. It is here today, so let's break down exactly what this is for, because this would be for the 70-30 portion of the plan and there's still another waiver to come. So talk about That's what's right. first, this first round. So April 1, which is next Monday, April Fool's Day, it's no April Fool's, we will open the doors to enroll people in, in this population and the state will pay 30%. And we have funded that, so we intend to do that for up to a year. This spring, probably in May, we'll submit another waiver to the federal government and ask them to pay 90% of that. But t to start with, Monday they'll be paying 70%, which is m more than most other states get. So being that they granted the 70%, what does that lead you to believe about the 90% waiver down the road? We're still hopeful. All the signs are positive. There's been no no's and no, we can't do this. But until you get it from the federal government, you don't have it, and we're very well of uh, aware of that. So talk about, when, when we're talking about 70-30, that means the state uh, and the, the federal government's uh, portions we, of that. We split it. The federal right. government pays 70 mm -hmm. and we pay 30%. Okay, so you're looking for 10 down the road. Yes. So talk about the cost. Why start off with the lower cost, or the higher cost, mm -hmm. I mean, and then try to work your way up from there? The uh, CMS told us that if we expand it to 138 at the 90-10, which we could do under Obamacare, and then try to bring it back down to 100, we may be in legal jeopardy that we're effectively taking coverage away from the people between 100 and 138. And there's some legal jeopardy to do that. So we're going the other path. We're starting out, which we got approved just today. The federal government will pay 70%, and then in, in a couple of months, we will apply and ask them to pay 90%. A big part of this is a work effort, meaning that if you're able to, you need to be actively engaged in seeking a job. That would be for both this waiver and the 9010, correct? That's correct. On this one that starts April, though, we're not going to implement that requirement until January of 2020. Okay. So we, we have plenty to implement without that piece. We're just not doing that piece until the first of the year. Okay. One last question for you. Uh, we just saw a court ruling come down during the week on a similar plan in Arkansas and Kentucky where the court uh, overruled it, said you can't be putting in this work effort or work requirement. So your thoughts as Utah implements this and it potentially could end up in the court. It could. The, the work effort, so ours is different than Arizona and Kentucky. Ours is a work effort. Theirs was a work requirement. Arkansas requires their people to work 80 hours a month. We don't. We just want them to do the same thing they're doing now to get food stamps, which is a couple times a year, apply for a job, try to get job training, try to go to schooling. It's severable from ours, so if they don't approve it, that doesn't impact us. We are not 
tight. We're not married to that. We want it because we don't want people to be multi-generational on mm -hmm. Medicaid. We want to help them to, to give them a hand up. Okay, actually, we should mention one other thing before we wrap up with you. Uh, if the 90-10 waiver doesn't come through, this reverts back to potentially Prop 3 down the road. Talk about that. It's it, uh, a new improved version of Prop 3. I agree with that. So July 1 of 2020, if we don't have our second requested waiver where the federal government is paying 90 percent, we will expand all the way up to 138 percent of poverty, which is then guaranteed to draw down the 90 percent. That's our fail safe. That's our backup plan. All right. Representative Dunning, appreciate your time. Thanks Thank so you. much for being here. And for all of you at home, if you may qualify for this new program, you can find more information on the expansion. You can visit uh, Medicaid utah.gov sorry thank you gentlemen for breaking down a complex issue there in other news we are hearing from the family of six-year-old annie gonzalez for the first time since she was hit and killed by an suv while riding a scooter they say no one is to blame and what the and that the crash was an accident abc4's rosie nguyen brings us more on how her father and sister want the community of vineyard to remember annie Pink ribbons and yellow pinwheels can be seen all around Annie Gonzalez's neighborhood. Her family says those were her favorite colors and best represent her sweet and caring personality. A painful loss no parent should ever have to endure. Annie Gonzalez's dad, Ivan, was with her during her final moments on Wednesday. Yo fui, estaba en mi casa y salí. Lo primero que vi fue... Me impacté al verla muerta. Me destrozó el corazón y no quiero recordar esos momentos y quiero borrarlos de mi mente porque me destrozan. He says their family came to the U.S. from Venezuela to seek political asylum. He thought they could finally be at peace until this happened. Ella dejó un vacío en mi familia, en mi corazón, algo que no puedo evitar. Es inevitable. Annie's older sister, Genesis, says she was very outgoing, confident, and friendly, which is why she left such an impact on the community. Siempre estaba feliz de compartir con nuevas personas, no tenía miedo de sociabilizar, no tenía miedo de hablar y de enfrentar las cosas. Aun cuando se mudó acá y no sabía inglés al principio. Her family, who is LDS, says they're relying on faith to help them get through this difficult time. Porque sé sin ninguna duda que volveré a ver a mi hija y la abrazaré y la amaré como la amo y aún por, por el tiempo y por toda la eternidad. Reporting in Vineyard, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. Oh, that's just heartbreaking. Nothing worse than going through something like that. Absolutely. Well, people got out early to shovel snow that they just weren't expecting. Well, standing water mixed with fluffy, heavy snow made a messy commute along Redwood near Center Street in North Salt Lake. Several vehicles spun out of control and hit the wall on both sides of I-15 in Davis and Salt Lake counties. Some of the most dangerous issues were in South Salt Lake under the Front Runner Bridge on 33rd South near 500 west. Drivers risked running their cars through the high water. As the sun came up, though, we found fallen tree branches on several cars and power outages scattered across northern Utah. Happening now, nearly 18,000 customers still without power. And they may be sitting in the dark for quite a while. John Dupree is live with more from Rocky Mountain Power. John. Yeah, you said it, Saray. These power outages have happened all up and down the Wasatch Front from Mill Creek Canyon all the way down to the Cottonwood Canyons. I'm in Mill Creek right now, and I'll show you why. On the other side of this house, there are crews working, Rocky Mountain Power crews trying to get at a transformer in an alleyway behind this house. We can't get at them. They're having a hard time, frankly, getting at the transformer. We follow this power line across the street, and I'm going to show you why Mill Creek is so hard hit, it seems, every time we have a heavy snowfall and this one was wet and what happens is these power lines they take a beating these trees that are all along every street through the Mill Creek neighborhood lose branches big branches heavy branches and they fall on these lines and they hit the transformer I'm looking at it right now they're working on it uh, and what happens is we'll show you the map the power goes out almost every intersection in the Mill Creek area and for that matter all the way up to Emigration Canyon where we're going to be reporting live at five o'clock 
have suffered outages, 18,000 people total when the sun came up this morning. Right now, Rocky Mountain Power is updating us, telling us in the Foothill area, 4,000 people are without power. In South Salt Lake alone, 3,000 more are without power. Crews have come from American Fork, Layton, and Ogden to help with the repair, and the work goes on day and night. And what we're being told now is because of the widespread nature of the outages that happened last night and this morning, Rocky Mountain Power officials are saying be ready if your area has experienced an outage to be in the dark all night long. That's how widespread the damage is. Crews are working fast. We can't even keep up with them. We'll try to catch up with them at Emigration Canyon at 5 o'clock. We'll see you there then. Reporting now from Mill Creek, John Dupree, ABC4 News. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified eight years in a row. Well, we realize it's a serious situation when there's a lot of snow, but somebody had a little bit of fun in Kaysville, said the groundhog lied and made a snowman. That's kind of kind of nice, but we had a lot of snow that fell on the North Salt Lake uh, bench and the Salt Lake bench and also the Bountiful bench. We've had anywhere from 10 to almost 12 inches of snow. And there's your South Ogden report of seven inches, five inches of snow at the Salt Lake Airport. And the rainfall total at the Salt Lake Airport was uh, over an inch, which only happens about once per year that we see that much precipitation. Well, that storm came in. The air was so cold that all of a sudden it turned to snow in a very small area. It wasn't snowing anywhere but on the benches, except for right in this zone. And then the lake effect kicked in. Oh, we saw those lake effect snow showers that hit very hard and continued into this afternoon. We're still seeing those pockets of showers, and there is a possibility tonight that more lake effect could form to the southeast of the lake and give us additional accumulations. We're hoping that won't happen. It's very unlikely, but it is still an outside chance. And now, even as we speak, a few snow showers still popping up on the radar. Back in a moment, we'll look at the weekend outlook and when the next storm will hit. Coming up in just a little bit. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Dan. Still heading your national news headlines. Pope Francis laying out new laws and guidelines on sex abuse. Details on the laws personally signed by the Pope. Planning a dinner party? Figure out how much food you need with the guesstimator at savethefood.com. Portions of this program include sponsored segments. Performance Toyota in Bountiful, in a battle for your smile. The stakes have never been higher to give you the experience you deserve. Well, we don't have to yell, because we know our prices are hard to beat. But it's really our hard-to-find and custom Toyota selection that'll bring you to Bountiful. Lifted Tundras and Tacomas, sleek and loaded Camrys and Avalons, as well as every Toyota in between. Putting a smile on your face. Performance Toyota Bountiful. I lost 30 pounds in 60 days. I was overweight, but I wasn't sure how to fix it. I was taking ibuprofen daily for activities, just walking up and down the stairs. Within two days, I stopped the ibuprofen. My joints stopped hurting completely. I could go for walks, do all my activities with no pain at all. I feel awesome today. I feel healthy. If you would like to lose weight fast and keep it off, call this number now for your free, no obligation consultation. Harry Greenwood, you were charged with having an unsanctioned relationship with Elder Callahan and reckless endangerment of the Charmed Ones. It was never my intention to fail them in any way. I hope Harry's okay, you guys. What charity is it? It's not Harry's fault. You must face consequences. Wait, I thank you. You two look like you've seen a ghost. All new this Sunday at 9, 8 central on The CW. New Zealand's new gun ban is being met with some resistance. More than 11,000 people have signed a petition against that proposal. Mm, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announced the ban on military-style semi-automatic weapons in the days following the deadly shootings at two mosques in Christchurch. The legislation will be introduced into Parliament next week and skip the normal public consultation. A petition against the measure was launched on Monday. It says the law should not be passed without an in-depth consultation period. There are roughly 1.2 million guns in New Zealand, or about one for every three people. The new law would make many of those illegal and require owners to sell them to the government. 
Happening today, the Vatican published new laws and guidelines against the sexual abuse of minors for employees and residents in the Vatican City State. Those new laws were signed personally by Pope Francis. In 2013, he updated the Vatican City's laws to include criminalizing sexual violence against minors. But this is the first time the Vatican has created a comprehensive set of procedures and laws to follow specifically regarding child sexual abuse for the Vatican City State. The laws and guidelines are binding on residents and employees there, including all the Vatican offices, the Vatican embassies abroad, and go into effect on June 1st. Coming up, your summer vacation may begin with a faster trip through security at the airport. What you don't have to do thanks to a new 3D TSA scanner. Healthy Choices for You, brought to you by Intermountain Healthcare. Don't be afraid to dream big. The Honda Dream Garage Spring Event at your Utah Honda Dealers brings even bigger savings and no payments for 90 days on your favorite new Hondas. Fill your garage with the KPV Best Buy Award overall winner, the new Honda Civic LX for only $189 a month, or the 38 MPG Honda Accord LX, now only $219 a month. Realize your dream in a new Honda from your Utah Honda Dealers. The more you compare, the more you know you want a Honda. Community Nursing Services presents Art and Sue, April 3rd and 4th at the Salt Palace, featuring 48 Utah artists and 25 local restaurants. Art and Sue raises funds for home health and hospice services for Utahns in need. Burgers, donuts, Niswa salad. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. And with great deals on all these Toyotas, you can make plans to go anywhere. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo Hello? Right now, lease a new 2019 Camry for just $249 per month or get $1,000 cash back on a new Camry. For great deals on other Toyotas, visit Toyota.com. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Dan Pope, weather rate certified eight years in a row. So we have a few spotty showers still hugging the Wasatch Mountains right there around the Cottonwood Canyons, eastern sections of Utah County, a few south of Tooele on South Mountain and out by Vernon. But precipitation totals phenomenal storm. We're talking about not just a drought breaking storm, but now putting us into the possibility of flooding come spring now that we're putting down so much rainfall. The ground is becoming saturated. 167 in Centerville, and we had a 143 in Ogden. Holiday the same, Sandy 1.40. The airport 1.39. That is a lot of precipitation for the Salt Lake City Airport. Only about once a year do we get a total of one inch over a 24 hour period. And we had that in Roy and West Valley, Stansbury, Park nearly an inch, North Salt Lake 0.81 and Brigham City 0.65. Now for the month so far, Salt Lake City has recorded the fifth wettest March in history. So we're not just wet, we're in the top five. 3.92 inches with a normal of 1.79. We're headed for a very wet spring as we continue to see these storms march in one right after the other. Here's what it looks like from Lake Mountain. You see these snow showers. Now the tops of the clouds are about 25,000 feet. So we might even get a little bit of lightning, possibility of some thunder with these pockets of showers that are moving along and through the Wasatch Front. And you can certainly see them on the radar. The flow is from the northwest towards the southeast, upsloping the Wasatch, delivering 19 inches of snow to Alta, 17 inches of snow to Brighton. And yes, it's still snowing. And there is a concern. You see these little orange and red splotches that some of these thunder showers could produce small hail as well as additional lake effect snow tonight. So that is a concern. Now look at these heavier areas of precipitation west of Willard, west of North Ogden, and again movement into the Salt Lake Valley from the lake could be enhanced by the much, much warmer waters of the Great Salt Lake. So we'll likely see a continuation of showers and uh, possibly even a little bit of snow accumulation again tonight, especially in the east bench areas of Davis and Salt Lake counties. Southern Utah spotty showers, but temperatures are in the 40s, 
50s to the 60s, but we are cold for this time of the year. More than 10 degrees below average in Salt Lake City. It's 33 in Park City, 37 in Morgan. And through the evening hours, expect those temperatures to stay below average as that low pressure and the cool flow Saturday will persist, bringing us a chance for additional snow tonight, mainly southwest Wyoming and again southeast of the lake and up against the Wasatch. Once we get into tomorrow, isolated kind of summer-like thunder showers may develop uh, mainly in the mountains. The Salt Lake City area with an easterly flow will stay dry on, on most of the day Saturday. Sunday we'll see a few showers in the southeastern part of the state before this storm finally moves away and gives us a couple of days of nice weather. So we'll look for our highs and lows to be in the 30s to near 50 degrees in Salt Lake City, uh, 45 in the Price, St. George, 68, then 72. Pretty nice weekend, 76 on Monday. There is a slight chance for a shower Tuesday night, Wednesday, but we do warm up and it does turn breezy next week. For the Wasatch Front, RSL game tomorrow, 50 degrees and a slight risk for a snow shower overnight. Then Sunday, partly cloudy. Monday, partly cloudy. 59 Tuesday with a chance for showers. Wednesday, also some showers and possible rain showers towards the end of the week as we stay in a fairly wet weather pattern. Back to you guys. All right, we're both thinking it's time for a St. George road trip, right? Yes, we kind of <laughs> need that break, that dry break. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, whitening stains on your teeth is simple, but removing the stains altogether, well, that's another story. Reagan Ledbetter has a two-minute solution to getting rid of years' worth of stains. If your teeth are yellowing due to coffee, tea, red wine, or smoking, you need to pay attention right now. A whiter smile can actually make you more attractive and take years off your appearance. We have a very special guest with us today. This is Thank Scott you, DeFalco. He's already using the Power Swap. Yes, I'm going to show you and your viewers how simple this product is to use. It's a quick two-step process. Right now, I'm using the Stain Out Swab for two minutes, and by the end of this segment, guess what? My teeth are going to be two shades whiter. I thought you were kidding when you walked up here and you before we started, and you nope. started using. You said. No, I really use this. I really all the use time. it. Yes, I've used this for over four years now. The best thing about it is no sensitivity and it works on all dental surfaces. Reagan is it a game changer in the teeth whitening industry. Oh my goodness, it really is. Well, I think it's interesting that the studies have shown that if your teeth are whiter, you feel more confident. Well, yeah, this is a little test that we gave. We paneled a hundred women, said, Who would you rather spend time with their kiss? Oh, I'll ask you, Reagan. On the right. Whew, you had me nervous there. I thought you hesitated, but I yes. immediately <laughs> want to kiss him. We'll and who do you want to kiss? Which one? <laughs> well, we paneled a hundred men. They're not as picky with who they'll spend time with their kiss, Reagan. Let's be honest, but yeah. Yes, of course, the girl on the right. So the lesson learned here is that if you're the person on the left, you're gonna look older, you're gonna look unhealthy, and it's just plain unattractive. You don't wanna have that perception. No, it's true. All right, I see that you're swabbing right yep. now. Will you it's tell me what simple. you're doing? This is the stain out swab. So you do this for two minutes. And what we do with the stain out swab, Reagan, is we actually lift the stains off of our teeth. The other products out there, they'll whiten the stain, like the strips and the trays, but they don't remove it. And at the same time, I'm hydrating my enamel. Ask me why that's important. Why is that important? You are so good at this game. <laughs> that prevents the sensitivity. I get asked all the time. Why do the other products hurt so much? They take the moisture out. That's why you get the pain. With this one, you don't. Oh, I've had the teeth whitening oh, yeah. systems before where your gums bleed. It's, it's awful. It's and brutal. This is painless. It's the biggest complaint people have about the other products. With this product, that's a make or break because you don't have it. There's the comparison chart. Less than five minutes it's working in with no sensitivity and on all dental surfaces, Reagan. So if you that's have veneers, huge. all of right. it, it will get everything white. Right. So now I moved on to the whitening swab and here's where it's revolutionary and really exciting. There it is on your screen, the shade chart. What I'm doing right now, Less than five minutes, you're gonna get on average two shades whiter, six shades over seven days. Best part, results last up to six months. This was developed by a dentist. He knew what he was doing when he created it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe in six days that your yellow could go away that quickly. Yeah, it really can. And look, you leave with your smile. It's the first thing people notice about you. You cannot avoid it. And even my wife told me it was the first thing she noticed about me, Reagan. Your smile. Yeah, she's your dropped that gorgeous. Yeah, she's dropped that gorgeous. I'm no movie star. Okay, so I'm living proof this is gonna help you, not just professionally, but you could fall in love too if you have a white smile. Well, I think that's interesting that it yes. can affect your love life it if really you have can. really white teeth. So that's the second step and then this you're done. Whitening and that's it. You are okay. done and that is it. Um, if I want to get this right now because I need to get whiter teeth, what do I do? <laughs> well, you're going to call that one energy number. We're going to put up on your screen. You go to powerswabs.com. We got a great discount, 40% off plus free shipping, plus for free. We love that word. 40% off? That's 40%. We're going to give you for free the on-the-go stain out quick stick for the daily maintenance. Use it after your morning tea or afternoon lunch. Lifts the stains off your teeth before they set in. Scott, I'm, I'm signing up. You, you are? I'm going to order. Today. Okay, well, I'm going to finish my two minutes. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> studies you, learns everything about you. Did he mention his ex-wife? <laughs>
what did they find in his first wife's eyes when her body was exhumed that changed everything? The 2020 event, tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC. Burgers, donuts, niçois salad. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub, restaurants you love, delivered. Recovering from a serious accident can make you feel like the world has left you behind. Robert J. DeBrine Associates can help. Remember, you don't pay anything until you're compensated for your injuries. Contact us today for your free consultation. Coach, it's kind of hard to see the ball. I've been there. I had a TV service with hardly any sports in 4K. Couldn't see any of the quality details. I switched to DirecTV. Now get the most live sports in 4K. So how does that help me? You know what? It really doesn't. I don't know why I told you that. Go get them, sport. Live sports that aren't in 4K are just kind of TV. Switch from Dish and get a $100 reward card. Don't just kind of TV, direct TV. And now's the time you've been waiting for. The undisputed champs, Tundra and Tacoma. And in this corner, the reigning rulers of the road. Oh, let's get ready for spring. Not bad. Ready for a great deal? Uh, let's do it. So good. Lease a tough new 2019 Toyota Tacoma for just $249 per month or get $1,000 cash back on Tacoma, America's best-selling compact pickup for the last 10 years. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today! Toyota, let's go places. It's easy, easy, easy to replace your tupper shower when you choose Bath Fitter. Hi, I'm Bill Booman. And I'm Rick Booman from Bath Fitter. Bath Fitter brings the showroom to your home and helps you choose the perfect tub or shower for you. Installed in as little as one day by our Bath Fitter team. Bath Fitter guarantees the best price and the best warranty. From Logan to St. George, we serve all of Utah. Why call anyone else? You must call now for your free in-home estimate and receive up to $450 off. It's, it's better, better with, with Bath, Bath Fitter. Burgers, donuts, niçois salad. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grub up. Restaurants you love, delivered. Welcome back. You've been warned if you come after Gigi Hadid on Twitter, she is going to fire right back. She sure will. She has some choice words for a Twitter user who is seemingly judging her appearance. It all started when the model met a family while on vacation for a shoot on the beach. According to the star, the family asked for a photo just moments after she wrapped up shooting in the sun for 12 hours in a wig. Now it seems like she is regretting this act of kindness since one of the family members seemingly dragged her on Twitter. She scolded the user saying, quote, it bums me out that there's people like you who function on an intelligence level that would look beyond the nice experience I had with your sweet fam and turn that into such a negative and mean train of thought. I mean, that was nice of her to stop and, and take go the picture. out of I mean, her way yeah. after working, what, the 12 hours or so. Yeah, so I think we're um, all with her, right? Yeah, I think that, that definitely yeah. for her, <laughs> yes. Okay, George Clooney is calling for a hotel boycott because of links to the Kingdom of Brunei. Oh, this after the country announced homosexual acts will soon be punishable by death. In an opinion piece written for Deadline, the actor called for an immediate boycott on nine hotels, three in the UK, two in the US, two in France, and two in Italy. The US hotels are the Beverly Hills Hotel and Hotel Bel Air, both in the LA area. Clooney says the hotels are owned by the Brunei Investment Agency. Brunei is a small, oil-rich kingdom of just over 450,000 people on the island close to the more moderate Islamic nation of Indonesia and Malaysia. Not much to say after no. that, right? Yeah, you know, one thing though that when George Clooney speaks out, he's got an audience. Right, and people do listen. That for sure. All right, coming up, Representative Chris Stewart speaking out on the Mueller report findings. We sat down with him to talk about that next.